My second book, The Original Names, Words and Everything in Between of Volume 2 is now available to purchase. Get your copy today by searching Word Origins Book on Amazon and clicking on the non-sponsored link or by checking whatever books are available in your part of the world. You know what there's an awful lot of on the World Wide Web? Listicles of rude sounding place names. From popular websites highlighting rude names from around the world, to the sites of local papers sharing just some rude names in the local vicinity. People seem to not just be able to get enough of rude sounding place names. And you know what? Who can blame them? Rude sounding place names are pretty darn funny and are of interest. We humans are really fascinated by them. Seeing words deemed as taboo and not to be uttered, plastered out in the open for all to gaze upon just gives us a thrill clearly. People love taking photos of signs with these rude names on and they often even get stolen. One man recently in the UK did a tour of rude place names on his moped for charity. These rude sounding names have allowed small, otherwise unheard of towns and villages gain worldwide attention. It's amazing what a name can do for somewhere. So what's my issue with these listicles about rude names then, I hear you asking? Well, it's the simple fact that these listicles, more often than not, do little more than point out the name, gawk at it, usually give a little sentence as an attempt at a witty remark, and move on. Me, however, I don't want to just move on. I want to give these names the attention they deserve, and delve a tad deeper into them, because they got me thinking, specifically thinking about why there are some so many rude sounding names to begin with. I honestly feel that very few places go out of their way to give themselves a rude sounding name. Who would honestly want that? Other than some kind of strange tourism board that want their town to get attention by any means possible. Well, from researching into these rude sounding names, I feel there are two main reasons as to why place names can sound so rude. At least places with rude sounding names in the English language anyway. This video is going to focus on names that sound rude to English speakers, but please let me know of some places of rude sounding names in your language down in the comments below. This all kind of ties into point one. Often there's places with rude sounding names to English speakers in parts of the world where English is not the native language. These names sound perfectly innocuous in their native tongue, but the moment an English speaker lays eyes on them, the giggles and gawking commences. Often these kinds of names don't even sound rude when said out loud, but just look like rude English words when written down. Point two as to why place names can sound rude is simply due to the time that has passed since the name was created. Many place names are incredibly old, and when they were first created, the words used to form them were not rude in any way. But as history has gone on and language has evolved, the letters and words that make up these ancient names have become taboo and exploited online for likes and clicks, kind of like what I'm doing right now. Of course there are exceptions to these rules, sometimes names are rude sounding just for the sake of it. So I have found a selection of rude sounding place names and instead of just gawking at them, we are going to do a dive into them and figure out where exactly they came from and why they aren't as rude as you may think they were at first. Yeah, trust me to be the one to sap all the fun out of rude place names. Also as there are so many different kinds of rude place names, I am going to be focusing on just the ones that line up with swear words in the English language. A lot of people like to point out intercourse in the USA as a rude place name. And while it is somewhat rude, to me it just sounds like a more mature word for human copulation. I like the ones that just sound slash look like good old fashioned cuss words. So if you haven't watched my swear words video, get ready to hear me say some rude sounding names as they're not actually rude. And while we know these names are not really that rude, you know who may think they are rude? YouTube. There's a chance that this video will get demonetized due to the language I'm about to use. Normally I wouldn't want to do a video like this because of that, but I'm feeling cheeky enough to give it a go. However, if you want more videos like this that YouTube would rather I didn't make, then please do consider donating on Patreon. Funding through Patreon allows me to make videos like this and not have to depend on just chasing views. Just $1 a month helps out in a huge way and gets you extra goodies like weekly blog posts, ad-free videos, and chances to decide what names get covered in future videos. This very idea was suggested by a patron. Check out patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below. That might seem like too much of a plug but if YouTube aren't going to pay you for this video I might as well give it a shot. 
Moving on, it seems that the part of the world that is most linked with rude names is my home nation of the United Kingdom. There are whole lists of just UK based rude names. I even own a map of strange place names just in the UK, including the rude ones. These rude names of an English language nation prove my aforementioned point too, that these names came from older, non-rude origins, but have gained a ruder meaning as the years have gone on and language has changed. Take the town of Crapstone. This is a small village in the southwest of England in the county of Devon. It seems to be a pleasant, quaint rural village on the cusp of Dartmoor. This part of the nation is full of beautiful villages like Crapstone. While most of them fly under the radar, Crapstone stands out thanks to that name. Crap is a somewhat milder swear word. Most people use it and don't really bat an eyelid, hence why I'm kicking this video off with this one. Crap today is most linked with excrement. However, this village of Crapstone thankfully isn't littered with poop and stones. There seems to be little out there in regards to where this name ultimately originated from. One idea I found is that this name relates to a wealthy family in the past who helped establish this village with funding the construction of the church and such. This idea sounds pretty plausible, as Crap slash Crapper is a pretty established surname, and places being named after important figures in the ancient past is common in the UK too, as we will see with other examples. Another quaint English village is that of Bitchfield, up in Lincolnshire. This this small village, like Crapstone, seems quaint enough, though that name makes it stick out like a sore thumb. Bitch is a word that was used for a long time before becoming rude. It is the term for a female dog. So perhaps this village started life as a field for just female dogs. Well, that doesn't seem to be the case. The oldest version of this name we have is Billisfellet. According to the Dictionary of British Names, this original Old English name means open land belonging to Bill, e.g. Bill's Field. Whoever Bill was, he owned this land and it took on his name. Over the years however, like many names, this one of Bill's flood changed too, becoming Bitchfield. Why this happened is not known. Perhaps people just gravitated towards this pronunciation of the name. And once this village of Bitchfield was established, Bitch unto itself became a rude word, leaving this village with yet another rude name. Sometimes, however, these names do relate more closely to the rude word applied to them. Take the hill slash small mountain in Scotland called the bastard. Bastard is a swear word that somewhat like bitch has roots away from the world of profanity. Bastard initially meant a child born out of wedlock and it still does mean that. However the word has picked up pretty negative connotations over time. Why this mountain is called the bastard however? I could not find an answer. I know I said I wanted to dive deeper into these but sometimes the facts evade me. I like to imagine this mountain acquired this name simply because of the challenge of climbing it. E.g. it's a bastard to climb. Though undoubtedly one of the UK's most famous rude place names has to go to Shitterton, a village in Dorset. This name became so well known for its crudeness that the village sign kept on getting stolen, so the residents all chipped in to buy a huge carved rock to present the village sign on, which is just a tad harder to steal. The village's name relates directly to what shit means to this day, being yet another word for human waste. The tom part of this name is seen in many settlements and means town. So does this mean that Shitterton simply means the town by the shit? Well, kind of actually, yeah. The former part of this name comes from the old English Silita, which means sewer, as this village was founded near the opening of some sort of sewer system. And sewers of course contain a lot of, well, shit. Clearly when it was first named, this word wasn't as rude as its modern counterpart. There's many more rude names knocking around in the UK, so let's leave those behind for now. For these last few, I want to highlight some in Europe, starting with the mountain and village in southern Germany with the name Vunk. This is a great case of a word being perfectly normal in its native language, but funny to English speakers, more specifically UK English speakers. What's even more silly with this one is that it doesn't even sound like that rude word, it's just spelt the same, as German pronounces W like a a v sound to English. I annoyingly could not figure out where this German name actually came from, but it's a great example of how a rude sounding name actually isn't as rude as it first seems. It may relate to the German Wanken, meaning to sway, perhaps because of the winds on this mountain cause trees and various other things to sway. The mountain is known for its 
connecting cable car called the Vankbahn. I imagine that would sway quite a bit too. Sticking with the Germanic languages, we arrive in the nation of Austria, who speak their own dialect of German. Austria is home to a town called Fogging. This is another example of a name being spelt more rudely than it actually is. It's believed to mean the place of Fokor's people. Whoever Fokor was, he clearly didn't realize what would become of his name. This rude sounding name actually annoyed the residents of Fogging so much, they actually decided to change the town's name to Fogging, which is spelt more like the name sounds. Just like myself, it seems that the people of Fogging wanted to spoil the fun of people who enjoyed giggling at the rude sounding names too. And who can blame them? There's probably only so many times your sign can be stolen before you decide it's easy to just replace the name then keep on replacing the sign. But anyway, next time you see a rude name, why not try and be a bit more sensible? Or giggle away. I mean, I probably would. Rude place names were suggested by Sebastian, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as the name explains patron saint of rude place names. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explain video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and it gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and also join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain, both of which will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.